back to my kitchen. You guys, today we're making some baked ziti. And I would like to consider my recipe very simple. You guys know I don't like complicated stuff. I like to keep it easy peasy and simple. Um, as you know, I'm not a chef. I'm just a southern cook. And if I could make something that's simple, not too, too many ingredients, but yet delicious, that's what I like to try to do and share with you guys, okay? So right now I have this large pot here. You guys can barely see it. I have my water in here, and it's starting to get hot. Now I'm going to go through all of my ingredients, but let me tell you what I'm getting ready to add to this water as I'm preparing to boil my noodles. I'm going to use some of this Italian herb better than bouillon because it's going to give my water some flavor. And I prefer to, um, it's like going to make a broth. I like to boil my noodles most of the time in a broth. You guys look how that looks on the inside. And again, it gives the noodles, you know, a little more seasoning as opposed to just boiling them in some bland water. You don't have to do this, okay? This step is totally not necessary, but I love better than bouillon. So, we're gonna start with that. Also, let me add a little bit of kosher salt to the water as well. I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of kosher salt in here okay and then as that gets hot then we'll add our noodles in just a little bit I have it on low because I don't need it to get hot too quick all right now before I forget I have one pound of mild Italian sausage <clears throat> excuse me and one pound of ground beef in a strainer in my sink because I rinse my meat okay I know a lot of you don't and you feel like it's unnecessary but honey do you I've said before as for me and my house honey we're rinsing our meats over here so one pound of mild Italian sausage and my ground beef is in the sink I rinse them off and they're draining okay of course we'll need some ZT I'm gonna use this entire one pound box I'm keeping it simple. I'm not making any sauce. So I'm going to use this ragu chunky sauteed onion and garlic sauce. You guys, there are so many different kinds of sauces out there. What I love about cooking, especially something like this, you can make it your own. So if you prefer a different brand, a different kind, by all means, use exactly what you prefer. All right? It doesn't have to be that kind. To that, I'm going to add some diced... Um, tomatoes and I chose the kind that has green pepper celery and onion same thing if you want to use a different kind then you can you can use whatever you prefer I'm also going to add some of this tomato paste that has basic garlic and oregano in it all right that's that little this can is six ounces and this little can is six ounces and this can is 14.5 ounces and then just a few seasonings. I'm going to add me some more roasted garlic. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning and some basil leaves. Y'all, this is all I'm adding, okay? Again, add whatever seasonings you prefer. If you know you don't care for basil or Italian, don't add it, all right? And I may need to add a little bit of salt too, but I'm going to be tasting my... Um, broth, not my broth. I'll be tasting my, what's this stuff called? My sauce. All right. I also have, I cut up me some green peppers, some onions. If you want to add additional garlic, you can, or some red onions. Um, I mean, red bell peppers, honey, whatever you like. Now, I have to do some more grating. I started grating my cheese. And right here, I have one pound of grated Parmesan, which is here. And then I have 
uh, cut up some mozzarella. Okay, this is fresh mozzarella. I've cut it up in the little chunks and hunks. And then I'm also going, I'm going to grate me some more mozzarella. And you guys, this is the whole milk mozzarella. All right. I had this in the freezer, so it needs to unthaw just a little bit. Now, it grates really good while it's frozen, but it's a little too hard for me to try to start grating it yet. But So I'm going to grate some of this for the top. All right. Let's see, I have a little bit of sugar over here. You guys, I always add just a little dab of sugar in my sauces. You don't want to do that, then it's okay with me. But I'm going to add a little bit to mine. All right. Now, I want to start by sauteing my onions and my bell peppers. So I'm going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit. I don't need much. And I'll bring you guys closer in just a minute, okay? Come on. Okay. I, don't be, I don't be liking a lot of oil. So that's just a little bit. Ooh. And while I'm running my mouth, I'm going to go on and add my onions and green peppers to my pan. You guys, of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty, okay? Don't do that. All right, so we're gonna start sauteing up these vegetables. Y'all, this is what the Parmesan cheese, the little packaging looked like that it came in. When I grate my Parmesan cheese, I don't find it over there where the where the cheese is. You can find some that's like grated inside the little containers. Oftentimes I can, but to get a block of Parmesan where I need to grate myself, I um I usually find that in the deli section of the grocery store, like where they have the breads and the muffins and the that's where you can find the, the fancy cheeses at, okay? And that section of the grocery store. Of course, this mozzarella block just came from, came out of the, um, the area, the dairy area where I got my cheese and stuff. Right? Where you get your regular cheese, okay? And again, I'm just grating some of this for the top. Y'all, since it's been frozen, it's kind of crumbling up a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. So once my vegetables saute, um, I'm going to let them saute a little bit, and then I'll start adding my meat. I want them to cook. I don't like... I don't want crunchy vegetables. I need them to get soft. Okay? So we're going to saute these a little bit and then we'll start adding our meat. I'm also going to add a little salt and pepper to my vegetables. And now I'm ready to add my meat. And this is a pound of Italian sausage and a pound of ground beef. Y'all, that um, better than bouillon Italian herb make my water look like it's dirty, doesn't it? It's not dirty, I promise you, it's not dirty. Okay, so we're going to get this meat browned and cooked up. Then just sprinkle some basil leaves. Some 
Italian seasoning. Garlic. I'm just going to cook this and get it all browned up. All right, my meat is totally browned now. And I've turned up my heat on my water so it can start boiling. So I can add my pasta. And you guys, I have already cleaned off the top of these cans. You all need to wash your cans thoroughly because they are filthy nasty. They've been on the back of those tractor trail trucks and warehouses in them grocery stores and everybody had their little nasty hands on them y'all use soap and water and wash off the tops of your cans all right now this didn't render a lot of grease so i'm not going to worry about trying to drain it i think we're good I'm going to add my green pepper, celery, and onion. And you guys, when I add my vegetables, like I said, I like for them to be soft, like my onions and my peppers, but I also kind of like to be able to see them. I don't like them necessarily too fine. I like to be able to see my peppers and my onions. But if you don't like to see them, by all means, you cut them as small or dice them as small as you would like. Okay. Now I'm going to add my sauteed onion and garlic sauce. Yeah, I know I have to get that last little bit out, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of this water. A bit of this water, my pasta water. No sauce left behind. tomato paste, our basil, garlic, and oregano. Yeah, this is just going to give it more flavor. See, my water has come to a boil over there. So 
we're going to go in and add our noodles. Again, this is a one pound box. Turn this down a little bit. I don't want it popping everywhere. So we're going to mix this up really good and then I'm going to cover it and we're going to let it simmer. I want it to simmer at least for about 30 minutes. Yeah, here comes my dude number one, aka my husband. Hey dude number one. Hey, hey, hey. You alright? You have a good day? Peace. Okay. You see my stuff outside? Where is it? <laughs> my stuff. Just I thought I heard uh, the delivery truck out there. Okay you guys, so we're gonna Mix this up. I'm going to cover it and just let it simmer. Now I want my pasta to cook until it's al dente. So let me set my timer because I only want it to boil for maybe about, and it's already been boiling a couple of minutes now. So we're going to set it for like 10 minutes, okay? So we're turning this down to low. I'm going to Put my top on it and we're going to simmer it. Oh, that's the wrong top, y'all. I'm glad I realized that before I let it go. <laughs> so we'll let it simmer for at least about 30 minutes. You guys, we have been simmering for about 45 minutes. Just getting ready to add a little bit of my sugar. Got to have just a little sprinkle of the sugar, you guys. Okay. And now we're ready to start adding our cheese. I've already added, I greased my little, I have a 9 by 13 casserole dish that I've already greased a little bit. Start by adding my mozzarella. Just gonna add a little bit at a time. My I'm turning my burner down to low, but I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit while I'm Getting this cheese mixed in. And if this is too much for my casserole dish, then I can always let it totally cool and then freeze it. Freeze it, and then when I take it out, all I have to do is let it unthaw, put it in a casserole dish, top it off with cheese, and we have a meal for another day. But we're gonna see how much this renders and see if it's too much for this casserole dish. So I'm gonna keep mixing this in. It's gonna start to melt. And then once it starts melting, we're going to add, as a matter of fact, I really don't have to wait. I'm 
I'm gonna go on and add some of this um, this Parmesan cheese. I want a little bit for the top as well. So this is the grated Parmesan. I'm gonna go on and add some of this. And then I want to save just a little bit for the top. Okay. So I'm gonna keep stirring this and get this cheese melted. Okay, now we're going to start adding our noodles. And I do I'm intentionally adding some of this pasta water too because it'll help loosen up this sauce a little bit and help make it a little creamier. I like mixing everything together too rather than um, rather than layering it. And what I think I'm getting ready to do is we're gonna switch pots. I'm gonna add it to this pot here because I'm not gonna have enough room in this one. And I really knew I was gonna have to end up doing that. This one just is not large enough. I tell you, with all this cheese, it's good to use a good non stick pan. Okay, I have everything switched over now. This is going to be too much for the casserole dish, but that's okay. tea for another day okay so now it looks like everything is coated with all of this cheese I hear you not not big boy y'all my, my baby is here so y'all probably hear him in the background okay so now I need to get it in this casserole dish now this is getting ready to be a, a cheesy something, me trying to get this in the casserole dish without making it too sloppy. <laughs> Y'all, look. <sighs> the strings of cheese won't let me be great. <laughs> That's that mozzarella. Really, y'all, and it's gonna melt even more in the once I put it in the oven. Okay, yeah. Let, let, let me get this in here, and then I'll just top it with the cheese. Y'all not gonna miss anything. All I'm doing is putting this in this casserole dish. Okay, you guys. No, I do not like when I'm cooking for it to be looking all sloppy and messy. So I said, let me, let me just get it in the casserole dish and then, you know, come back. Turn this up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I like my dishes to look neat, so I'm just taking a paper towel, a clean paper towel. Let me preface it with that. Some of y'all, mm a clean paper towel. 
and just going around the edge because I do not like my dishes to look like they're not clean. I just, I hate to see a casserole in a dish and it just looks real messy around the edge, y'all. I just hate it. I hate it. Okay. So, now that that's in there, the only thing it's left to do is this is the Parmesan. We're going to add the Parmesan. And then we will go back with the mozzarella. Oh, it's going to be good, y'all. I guess my husband will be taking some of his co-workers some lunch tomorrow because we are not going to eat all this. This is the mozzarella. Again, my oven is preheated to 400 de degrees, and all we're really wanting to do is melt this cheese. I like a lot of cheese. If you don't like this much cheese, by all means, you do not have to be excessive like I am with the cheese, but hey, I love cheese. And now I just want to uh, put up my, my Italian dressing. Italian seasoning. I'm just going to top it off. Rather than do parsley, I'm going to top it off with some some of my Italian seasoning, okay. Oh, girl, look at that. Look, look. Y'all, I was supposed to flip that up. No worries. See? Take it easy. Y'all don't get all bent out of shape. It's just that simple. See what I did? I'm glad I called before it got too terrible. Be like, girl. Okay. It's all good. Now, let's try this again. Top it with a little bit of this Italian seasoning. And then we are good to... You know what? I want some parsley flakes too. Because I just want to see them. Somebody mentioned the other day with my... um. A uh, load of baked potato that I could have done chives. You know, I don't normally keep chives on hand, but if I had had some chives, you're right, that would have been great. Just like on top of this, it would have been, you know, you could do some chives if you want. All right. Okay. We're going in the oven 300, mm, not 300, I'm telling the story, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Like I said, I just want to melt that cheese, okay? Just long enough to melt the cheese because the meat is done, it's been simmering, so all of that is good. Oh, glasses are fogged up. Okay, you guys, it's been about 22 minutes. Because I wanted it to kind of like start getting a little brown spots on it, so I left it just a little bit longer than 20 minutes. So, as always, it's going to depend on the oven. Kind of settle a little bit before we dig in.
Jesse, you have to say hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Baby, you don't need but a little bit on. Um, just a tad bit. Just a tad bit just right now. Tabby. Where's your um? Yeah, just a tad bit. Oh, we're putting in this little boat. Did you say hey everybody? Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Little scrumpy boy. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. I don't want that much. Come on. Okay. Okay, well, it's just a little taste. Okay. Um, because we're not really, really ready to eat right now. Here. Those are some giant size noodles. They're ziti. What's a ziti? A ziti noodle. Give me the noodle. What's the noodle? You want to taste something, Papa? Uh oh. Y'all don't let me forget this bread. I know. I almost forgot. Just stay quick. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail real quick, babe. In about thirty seconds, by the time. So, um, move over to the right a little bit and back up. To the right, to the right, to the right. Trying to get in there. To the right, to the right, to the right. Okay. That should be okay. Y'all see, Donnie's is already done. Sorry. Donnie's is Jackson. You ready to take that home? I just brush my teeth and it's back not getting no stain from these ZDs. Your teeth, your teeth are getting ready to be ready. What? Oh, you got to do some brushing. Brush him again. Brush him again. That's the time. Y'all have my bread in the oven. So, it's hot, hot, hot. I'm going to burn myself no more ever. I know, right? Because listen, <laughs> honey, they laugh at you. Toot, you taking some bread home with you? Bye, Okay, it's going to come out. I set the timer again. Anyway, you guys, so this was really easy. Um, Use the sauce you like. The seasonings you like, honey, this is your dish. I just tried to kind of give you a little foundation and, you know, just put in your baked ziti what you want, all right? Because it's yours. It's cool. And don't let nobody make you think it's wrong because you fix it different. This is your baked ziti. Want some mine? You want to taste some? I'm sorry, I got all your business. It's not hot, is it? Nope. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, I think this is it. Um, How many different cheeses you have in this? I have mozzarella, two different. I have the, uh, fresh mozzarella. That's what's going to give it that cheese, that real cheese pull. Y'all, this is our, our bread. It just came out. Um, it's going to give it that real cheese pull, the mozzarella, and Parmesan. Is that all I put in it, y'all? Mozzarella. And Parmesan. Yeah. Is it good? May I taste it, please? And you see I made two. Oh, y'all, this is what I wanted to show y'all. Look what I have left in the pot. A whole nother meal. So when this cools, I'm going to freeze it. A greedy little dinosaur. Now, why do you have to be a dinosaur? Stop calling my baby dinosaur. So when it cools, I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag, freeze it. Then when I, we get ready for baked ziti again, we can just pull it out. I'll put it in a casserole, top it with cheese, put it in the oven. Just that simple. So probably should have done half the box. So if y'all don't want all that extra, just do half the box, okay? If you really agree, to just make the whole box. Yes, yeah, he is. He's going to take some of this to work with him tomorrow to feed some folk at work. So, oh, the bread is out. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Let's try this again. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the nosy! Slack it. That's slack. slack. You too busy eating. That's that notification bell. You turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're over here doing whatever it is we're doing. And it's not dry, y'all. I, I, love it. I love it that it's not dry. I did add some of that pasta water to it, too. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Because we do more than just being in the kitchen, y'all. We we outside. We be, we be decorating. I, I be being loose and all of the above. So. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. It's Prosper's News. Prosper's News. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Jackson. Bye. Bye. These are prosperous noodles because they're real big. I had the laid off noodles. They're, they're city noodles. The city noodles are they're the city noodles with the ridges. Bye, y'all.